Oh. We. Uh, why do I keep? Thank you. All right. Take thirty-six. <laughs> Street, stupid movies. Oh, record a new episode. Oh, oh. what's this? It's a mailbox. What's in the mailbox? A movie? A movie. Woo. It's upside down. It's upside down. What's this? It's a movie. It's a movie. Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 125, <laughs> where we watch them sometimes so you have to, but usually so you don't have to. And today we're watching a movie. Oh. It's a box! It's a box! Oh. The Changeling! Collector's Edition from Severn Films. Go pick it up! Oh. He's peeing! If you didn't catch from the, the, the thing that we just did, that we did like two hours ago, but we just cut into the thing that we just did. <laughs> and we watched The Changeling. This is Changeling 1980, rated R, about 107 minutes. It's a very long movie. Very long movie. Very long movie. Um, so we picked this movie this week. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite movies. Now, one of my favorite horror movies. One of my favorite movies of all time. Yep. Uh, uh, first time watched for me. Yeah, and, and this was one of those I was really, really nervous having you watch this because... <laughs> Because I know what kind of movie it is. It's not a fast movie by any stretch. It's, it is very long. It's almost two hours. A turtle would love this movie. A turtle would love this it would movie. love it. But, having said that, one of my favorite movies ever. Yeah. Um, directed by <coughs> Peter Medak. 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 Yeah. Medak! Uh, starring George C. Scott and Melvin Douglas. Yep. And then um, Trish... Van Devere. Van Devere. Trish Van Devere. Van Devere. Van Devere. I, I don't know that I've seen her in anything else. No. 1980, so it is an old movie. Yeah, they talk weird. They back do. Then. They talk weird. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the voices. You know, it, it's uh, very strange. It's not even just the voices, it's the words. Yeah. The words were weird. Uh, yeah, but George C. Scott. I like George C. Scott. I love him. Man. He's just fantastic. Now, you, you know him from Angus. Angus. My favorite movie with him in it. And I know him. All. I know him from Doctor Strangelove, yep. which is which is one of my top movies too. I love that. Right. So yeah, uh, you, you know, if, if we didn't like this or if we talk crap about George C. Scott, would be like, screw him. He'd Who cares what anybody thinks? <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably come up out of his grave and kick both of our he asses. Probably would. Because right. the whole movie. So anytime something scary happened, he was just like deadpan. Like, yeah, he didn't really nothing jump or nothing. It's like, oh, you know, creepy wheelchair chasing me around the house. <laughs> yep. And like at the one point, he even kind of got pissed off. the The ghost was mad at him, and he was like, "Screw you! What do you want me to do? What do you want from me?" <laughs> yeah, and I thought that was probably like the most badass reaction you could give. I don't think most people would probably be that way. I'd be pissing my pants. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's, the story basically is, is he loses his wife and kids pretty much at the beginning. Yeah, it starts off like a Disney movie or a Pixar yeah. movie. Really sad and depressing. <laughs> Finding George, <laughs> you know, yeah, it does. It, it starts off very sad, and that's kind of the basis. And then he goes into this house. I forget what he was doing. He's a teacher, like a musical teacher or something. Yeah, he's a composer of classical music, and he also teaches part time. And so after his wife and kids die, uh, wife and daughter die, right? He moves from New York to Seattle. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's to, right. To teach out there to just kind of get away and clear his head, and he moves into this house that turns out to be haunted. Yeah, you know, that that's like a, a parent's worst nightmare. Oh, is, yeah. You, you, or, you know, your kid, but your wife and your kid didn't get to see him. Uh-huh. And having to be stuck there watching it as it happens, and there's nothing you can do nothing about it. Nothing you do about it. Oh. Not cool. Spoiler alert. Spoiler. But, but that's in, like, the first five minutes, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so. just set up. <laughs> Backstory. <laughs> and you had mentioned it's based off a true story. This is. Uh, so the, uh, the writer-director, Peter Medic, actually lived in a house... Very similar and in the same area as the house in this movie, right. and experienced strange things. And he wrote a whole movie based around that, which is pretty cool. Yeah. What do we like about? It? I mean, I'll let you start. It's, it's, it's one my of your favorite movie. Favorite, uh, favorite movie. Um, 
I really like the cinematography. Every yeah. shot, the way they frame it is very, very deliberate. That was one of my favorite things about this was the cinematography and how they zoom in at you. Yes. To elevate oh. fear. I also really like the acting. I mean, George oh, Scott yeah. was a phenomenal actor, and he did Top a really, tier. really good job in this. Yep. Um, so did everybody else. Oh, yeah, they all did. Uh, the score and the atmosphere. Right. It was good. Uh, it's not really a horror movie. No. But it's psychological kind of, more thriller, drama. Yeah. But the atmosphere and the score make it feel very tense. It makes your butthole pucker Yeah. Up. So a lot of piano work. Yeah. Some violins. A little bit of violins. Th those guys were like... <laughs> <laughs> they were really rocking out. Simple, but it was effective. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's very slow burn, but it gets the point across. Yeah, this, this is a very... I would almost want to call it a quiet movie. Oh, yeah. it, it's very, it it's like, very quiet. subdued and relaxed, and right. um, which kind of leads into the dislikes a bit. Yeah, this movie is way too long. It, it's it, it's only an hour and forty seven minutes, which doesn't seem like it would be that long. Right. But the pacing is so slow and so slow burn. Yeah. That it, it does it feels like it's taking forever. It, it felt like we watched at least two movies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's how long going, it took. How long do we got left? <laughs> We're only an hour in. <laughs> and, you know. <laughs> yeah, which I get it, you yeah. know. But for me, that's not, that's not my cup of and tea. It's not my cup of coffee. Oh. It, you know, I needed this. <laughs> you know, I mean, but no, it, it's. It, they, I wouldn't say it's boring. No, I mean, uh, me wanting gore, blood. There's none of that in this. Zero blood. And I knew that going in. Yeah. So it's not really. It's just a nitpick. You know, throw in some blood and gut. There's yeah. a little bit of blood here and there, but yeah, not real. That's just, yeah. no, but no nudity. You know, this movie didn't call for any of that. No. Right. And, and that's going to be to each their own. I mean, right. I'm Mr. I love boobs in my movies. I love nudity. I like all nudity in movies. It right. just makes me very happy. Yeah. Um, but this to me, I, I didn't think it needed it. My biggest nitpick is this is not a horror movie. No. And I don't care the fact that everyone classifies it as a horror movie. It's not a horror movie. It's a, a psychological movie. Right. It's a, maybe a supernatural drama. Maybe even a thriller yeah. to a point, but it's not a horror movie. There is no element of horror in this movie. There's some suspense, some tense scenes. Sure. Could be creepy, but not yeah. scary. There was a total of one jump scene. Boom! God, that was stupid. That, yeah. yeah, throughout the whole movie. And I personally, I think that one jump scene was very effective because you weren't expecting it. Wow. If you're not expecting it, you'll jump. Did you yeah. land on your When neck? I jumped, I landed on my balls. <laughs> uh, you know, but overall, I, I mean, it's not my kind of movie. I don't know if I'll watch it again. Right. To be honest with you. But uh, it was a good movie. I now, mean, it's... I will watch it again. Oh, yeah. Um, I've seen it dozens of times before from, I had it on VHS. Right. Uh, and they didn't ever, this is the first they've released it since the VHS release. There was no DVD, oh, there really? was nothing else. I it not went straight from VHS to the, uh, that. the high def restoration of it. By Severin by, Films. By Severin Films. Yeah, the, the, the transfer was very good. I, was, I haven't seen the original, but I can only imagine. Yeah. I've seen a lot of 80s movies and stuff, you know, from others, you know, like, uh, Scream Factory, Arrow. Right. Uh, that's wrong. They all do a great job. And this is the first time I've seen a Severn release. Yeah, they did a great job. Right up there. Yeah. Uh, there were a couple, I don't know if you noticed, I, I did notice still there were a couple of cigarette burns in the sure. in the film. And that's probably just, I mean, they even said they only had so much that they could work with. Right. I'm super excited about the uh, release I got. It was like, it's got two discs, I don't know why. <laughs> the other disc is the score. Yeah, we're... That's kind of neat because a lot of time these collector's editions, limited editions, they'll have a Blu-ray and a DVD. Right. Both the movie, but not this one. Not this one. Cool. This one has the score, which is just great. But overall, I, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good movie. Right. I, I did too. Well, yeah. obviously. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, it's definitely worth at least one watch. If it's your cup of tea, you'll probably watch it many more. Yeah. So that being said, I will give this one... I'll out give it... Eight. Yeah, out of a... I will give it a... 6.912 atoms out of 8. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. I'll take that. Yeah! Uh, well, it, it's hard for me to rate it because, like I said, it's one of my favorite movies. So I'm going to give it a 9 out of 8. You should hunt this movie down and watch it at least once. And if you do, get the Severn release. It's worth it. It's got uh, something like 20 hours of bonus features that I'll never worth get to it. watch. And we're Hold not me. Hold me. <laughs> Fine. So, uh... Adam, where can they go to see us and find us and you, watch us? You can find us online at facebook.com slash stupidmovies. Or over on Instagram 
at Stupid Movies. You can find me at the Horror Punk. He's not on Instagram. Not yet, but I'm thinking I'm going to join. You should do it. It's I fun. should. Yeah. There's cool people out yeah. there. Yeah. So, till next time, go watch Changeling. Support Severin. Watch Stupid. movies. Watch this one. And uh, not to give anything away, but next week we're watching one of Rob's favorite mm-hmm. movies. What could that be? If you're on Instagram, you probably know. Debbie Does Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> it's a movie. Oh no! Hold on. There we go. We had part of the door in there. Oh no! I don't like the door. I don't like people to know there's a door here. <laughs> it's the horror cave. You can check in, but you can't check out.